Today we are doing the Dino Land USA Challenge. This land is going to be extinct, so we are going to do everything that the land has to offer, riding all the rides, eating at all of the food establishments, and checking out all the merchandise. It is going to be a full Dino Land USA Challenge. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go get that dino. Okay, guys. Today, I am here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park, and we are going to be doing a challenge today. This is something that I have wanted to come over here and film for a while. We are going to be doing the Dino Land USA Challenge. We are spending the entire day here at Animal Kingdom inside of Dino Land USA. And this is special because if you know Disney News, this is the land that is going to be going away. It's soon going to be extinct. Haha, <laughs> get it? So while it is still here, I have wanted to make this video. It's one of those things, just like we've seen with Splash Mountain and Country Bear Jamboree, all of the things that eventually go away at Disney. As soon as Disney announces that official like closing date, the land, like the, the attraction, whatever it is, is just swamped. So me and my friend were saying, we're like, we should go like kind of get ahead of the game. And while the crowds haven't yet descended upon Dino Land USA, we're going to just go and enjoy it and really make like a proper tribute video. These are the things that I geek out over and I think will be so cool. One day I'll show my children like this was Dino Land USA because it's going away, it is going extinct. So today, we are going to do everything inside of Dino Land USA. I'm ready. We have made it into Dino Land USA. The challenge is officially gonna begin. Today we are gonna do everything. So that means we have to eat at all the places, we're gonna do the games, the rides, literally everything, shop in the shops. So for some wayfinding, because this is going to be the preservation video, we came across that bridge from Discovery Island into Dinoland USA. Right here we have Trilobites. This is like an ice cream stand. They also have some buffalo chips. Over this way there's just like a little like drink cart that has some sodas, different novelty ice creams, things like that. Turning this way, past the picnic tables, there's a Welcome to Dinoland USA sign right up there. And they are currently doing Donald's Dino Bash, which is a fun little layover that they would sometimes do in the lands here. Still do, I'm talking about it already like it's past tense. It still is gonna be here for a while. Disney hasn't announced the going away date officially yet, but yeah, already we're just, we're, we're gonna start savoring it now because its days are numbered. Right through here, we are now officially in the land. Over here is the Boneyard. We have to go in there today, you've never been in the Boneyard. And here with me today is my friend Kyle, and Dino Land's like one of your favorite places. You love Dino Land. Well, so let me specify, Dinosaur is my all-time favorite ride in all of Disney. I don't know why, I just love it. Um, I have not explored any other area in Dino Land though, so oh, yeah, that's, that's, why we're, we're that's what we're this. doing today. We have to do it before Disney closes it, so. Here we have the other two food locations. There's Dino Bite Snacks, and then restaurant source. I think we might get something from there later. That's their actual full quick service restaurant, but this is like a good little grab and go spot. Dino Bite Snacks, which I don't actually know if I've ever had anything from here. So from Dino Bite Snacks, they have ice cream. This looks so good, the Dino Digs ice cream sandwich. Our goal today is we have to get some food item from each one of the spots, because we have to do everything in Dino Lang USA. So Kyle's gonna get our first food item. We're gonna have a Mickey pretzel. <laughs> Look at this seating area. I've never sat back here before. I think there's a dinosaur in here. <laughs> this is our first snack of the day. We have the Mickey pretzel. And we had no idea that this seating area, specifically where we're sitting, like tucked away, kind of existed. It's very nice back here. Rawr. So we just ate at Dino Bites back there on the porch, which actually connected to inside of Restaurantosaurus. It's kind of like a porch area to then Restaurantosaurus' main seating area inside. We already are planning, we're gonna come back there for dinner, but now we're gonna go start doing all the things that we have to do today inside of Dino Lane USA. And of course, we have to say hi to one of my favorite guys. He's right back over there. There he is, so this guy. I knew his name at one point. If you know, comment below if you know his name. But yeah, he's the American crocodile, and it's cool because he is basically like, alligators, crocodiles are prehistoric, so he is, in a way, a living dinosaur. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why he's appropriate here in Dino Land USA. Well, there we go. Oh my gosh, look, his mouth is open. We just confirmed with the cast member, his name is Marley. I knew that at one point in time, and it then went out of my brain, but now I'm gonna cement it Marley. Marley, so come say hi to him here. So at some point today we have to go in the Boneyard. I have not been in here since my kindergarten trip to Disney World, I kid you not. Last time I was in there, I was a very small child. 
I've have never, you? You've never been. No. When I, I, I don't think I've done anything other than dinosaur, and you and I went on this ride last year. Yeah. The worst rated ride in all of Disney. <laughs> it was. I'll link that video. We did the worst rated ride challenge, and this was, wasn't it number it was one number on one, the yeah, list? Yeah. yeah. Although I really enjoyed it because we went at nighttime and there was no crowds at all. There was nobody here. And for some reason, I actually really enjoyed this ride. It's Although cute. it is rated the, num the worst rated ride in all of this world. Which it needs more love. What do you think they would retheme this to? If it became like Indiana Jones or something? Or would they just take it all out and like bulldoze this whole area? I would take it all out. Probably. But yeah, what, what's uh, this guy's name? This big dinosaur right here. I do not know. We need to figure this out. I don't think I've ever noticed this over here because I don't think it's here all the time. They have a pin truck. Pins of extinction. Oh, that's really cool. So these are all extinct pins. Christmas stockings. Are they for sale? I'm so intrigued. The world's largest pin truck. Oh, look, this is cool. The 95th anniversary collection of Mickey Mouse. Any pin people out there? Are these like things that you would just be so excited about? So next up, Merchandise of Extinction. This is the gift shop here in Dinoland, USA. Which is not called Merchandise of Extinction. We'll find the official name somewhere. So Kyle told me he's never been in here. I've never been. Your here. mind is about to be blown. Look up at the ceiling. This is such a cool... Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa, There's but, like a ton of memorabilia. Can we just acknowledge the spear jersey? It's a, uh, it's pizza. It's just, it's just Disney pizza. I didn't realize wait, they came no, out with no, no, ears no. too. Oh, ears no. and a lounge wait, fly. Over the years, I've always loved this gift shop. There is memorabilia everywhere inside of here. Like every time I come in here, I notice something different. I think this is the most well-themed Disney gift shop anywhere on property. There's just so much. They have an entire train set up here that's going around on the ceiling. <laughs> Look, there's a dino pinata. There's all of the dino action figures. This had to be a fun job, whoever got to design this here. There's dino frisbees. Look at all, oh my gosh, I just noticed the little dinosaur toys. Also, all throughout the land here, they have a Dino USA soundtrack that's like a radio station that's on that keeps advertising Dino Land. There's also a Mickey Mouse. Look at the random paint brushes. Just yeah, all the artifacts. This is the coolest There's gift shop ever. Absolutely no dinosaur like merch, like no shirts. You know? That is weird though, because Kyle wanted a dino shirt to represent. I yeah. Could not find any dinosaur apparel, so I had to. You know, so. Probably, I wonder in the gift shop when you come yeah. out of the ride. We should go there. Do you want to ride the ride next? Yeah. Let's, let's go do ride that. The ride and check out the merchandise. Cool. Good plan. We just came out the other side of the gift shop, <laughs> and this is what's amazing about this land. There's so many hidden details and like little hidden spots like this over here. This is gonna be like losing a little treasure inside of Disney World. I am excited for what's to come, especially if it would be Indiana Jones, but this land is iconic of Disney. It's really grown on me over the years, like you realize the amount of detail that's back in here. This was a Imagineering Marvel. We're walking down the path back from the gift shop where we just were to the Dino Institute. This is like the back entrance into the Dino Institute, Out of all AKA the, times. the dinosaur ride. That's what it's called, dinosaur. Yeah. Out of all dinosaur. the times that I've been to Animal Kingdom, I never even knew that this was back. <laughs> you never walked this, never way, walked this way. So this is where you typically yeah, exit, is up exit, here. Yeah. And we usually, I guess, go straight down. But yeah, yeah, if you turn this way, you can head back down that little path to the gift shop we were just in. These are the things we're appreciating today, all the fine details. I wouldn't drink from it. Um, <laughs> really, what is this? Yeah, there's the gift shop. And then right down here is the front entrance to Dinosaur. We want to try to ride Dinosaur multiple times today because this is their premier attraction in the land. And my favorite. And your favorite. I'm so sad. 45 minutes for Dinosaur. Good thing is we are literally in this land all day, so we're going to come back. I've never seen it 45 minutes. Yeah, I mean, maybe words got around that it's going away already, so people are giving love to Dinosaur. Also, it's President's Day when we're filming this. That might have something to do with it. Even without riding the ride, we can still go in the Dino Institute gift shop. 
This is the gift shop that the ride spits you out into. Thank you. Here's the puppet. Hello there. Hello there. This is where we just filmed the intro with the puppet. And he is $12.95. You can own the dino puppet. They have this one. And then this is the one that's actually in the pre-show, if you know from the ride itself. This is what Dr. Seeker uses. So of course we had to choose him to do our intro. And then this gift shop's cool, because unlike the other one, which is oddly enough the really super dino theme one, that has no dino merchandise, but this one has unique merchandise that like you can't find anywhere else in Disney property. This is like specifically dino land stuff and just dino stuff in general. Yeah, if you have dino fans in your family, look, bring them here. You can buy all of these fun dinosaur action figures. This is all specifically dino merchandise. The hand puppets are a big merchandise thing. They have an entire display of them here. Also these guys, I can remember seeing these from my childhood. These guys are the dinos from the ride. They've been sold here for years. They will run you $24.99, and are you also $24.99? I think you are. Yeah, $24.99 for him too. Do you want a dino? I do. Okay, so I know that I've said dinosaur is my favorite ride. I should know this, but what is the name of the dinosaur that we actually have to get from the back in time? The Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. The the. Someone's gonna say it in the comments below. <laughs> say it in the comments below. What's the What's the dinosaur you're trying to bring back from the Cretaceous period? Because I want to see if we can get him. Like if they have. Yeah, like I know he's. Does, is he that one? Isn't that who we're getting? So the name of the dinosaur that we have to go back in time to get. It's called the Iguanodon. Iguanodon. I totally remembered it. I did not Google it. <laughs> But there's all these dinosaurs here, so like, I wonder if they have an iguana. Like over here, there's like these super squishy ones. Look how squishy. You guys want to oh, feel? Oh, super squishy. Go ahead and feel. It's like super squishy. It's like a stress. Stress, stress ball. relief, stress ball. But like, if they had an iguana don. This one's actually the collectibles from Look Walt yeah. Disney World. It's branded Disneyland though, even though they don't have this ride in Disneyland. Oh, but I guess it's just Disney Park. Oh, and it's But yeah, Walt these Disney are World. the ones that you would find in the ride. Isn't it him, the iguana don? Think so. Is that the iguana don? Yeah, I think so. Or is it him? Oh, I think it's him. But, That's the iguanodon, yeah. yeah. Forgive me, I'm not really super up on my if dinosaurs. If had a squishy iguanodon, I would get it. <laughs> when I worked in the preschool, I would have three-year-old boys tell me. They would correct me instantly. They knew. They knew how to tell their dinosaurs apart. I still to this day cannot. I know a T-Rex. You're a T-Rex. One of these guys is a T-Rex. No. Isn't it? Right over there is the exit to the ride. I know it will go down. It will go down later in the day But I've never paid attention to this mural over here I always just walk right by it and today's the day of taking in the details So we have to try to learn about some of these prehistoric creatures This little guy down here look at him. I love there's like a little chicken guy and this little seal dude the other thing that we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna play the carnival games that are over at the carnival section. They have different games so you can actually win prizes. And what's cool is they have a display case here of the prizes you can win. These are the prizes, some of the prizes that you can win over at the carnival games. And they're specific Dino Land USA exclusive toys. They're so cute. So yeah, that's something I've been wanting to do for a while because those are gonna be collectibles, you know? The land's going away. We did find some t-shirts too, but none that called to Kyle. You're not gonna purchase any, you don't think? I have to take the opportunity to say, before Dino Land becomes extinct, if you wanna plan your next trip to experience everything the land has before it would go extinct, go ahead and contact my friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. As always, you can get a free quote from them anytime by visiting 407vacations.com. Dinosaur's currently 45 minutes. It's crazy. We just walked over here. This is the extended queue for dinosaur. I've never seen this part utilized. They're not utilizing this part, but if you can look right over there, there's people that are in a portion of this outdoor queue. I kind of almost want to get in it to see yeah. what the outdoor queue looks like, but we'll still wait a little bit. We'll come back. It's crazy. I just like to walk the outdoor queue at some point. I've never, I've been on dinosaur so many times. I've never been outside. I don't even know where, like what part of the queue would even be outside. The outside. Yeah, usually you just walk right into yeah. the building. So next we're going to check out, they have the Restaurantosaurus Lounge. And this is something that I've always wanted to do. Today is the first day I'm ever going to do it. 
We're gonna go inside to see the drinks that they serve in Restaurantosaurus Lounge. It's located right in here. It's like attached to Restaurantosaurus, the main quick service. Oh, this is cute. Look, it's like we're in a tent. This is really cool. You see, this is like where the archaeologists work. That's kind of the whole theme of the Restaurantosaurus area. Yeah, so there's the lounge, and this is the restaurant that earlier we started the day off with Dino Bites, which was on the other side of the restaurant, and then it connected to the main quick service restaurant here. And now on the opposite side is the lounge. Okay, so I got a drink here. I got this is the Prem Dural Booze. I don't know how to say it. I will pop up what it is, but it's a prehistoric fun name. But it has vodka and a bunch of delicious blueberry. Yeah, it's the more sweeter drink, the bartender said. Okay, here we go. First sip. Oh, that's very good. This is just such a nice chill spot in here too. Like it's so, you wouldn't even know it exists. It's tucked away. Now we're gonna go inside of the boneyard, which this is like the kids' play area. They have a really cool part that it's like a big sand pit that you can like uncover fossils, like you can actually dig for bones. The boneyard. I actually have a really funny story about this place. I will tell that in a second. <laughs> Wait, the ground is like a playground, like bouncy. Do you feel like a kid again? This is fun. Oh, so there's all these slides and things. It's just like a big playground? Yeah, it's just a bit, there's slides. I wanna go on the slide. Good. Kyle's gonna go down the slide. You're like the size of the slide. <laughs> Yay. Don't spill your drink. Here he comes. That was a good one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look, it's like fun tunnels. Go through. Yes, I'm gonna go through. We'll see where I pop out. Okay. Meg? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I made it. make like fun noises and stuff inside of it. This is very Here, detailed. take the camera. Fire, take yeah. the camera through. Come on. You guys want to get the POV? Here's the POV shot. Here we go. Here we go. Look, there's like fossils and things to find. Some type of roaring happening. Ali and AJ are playing in the background. This is like a Disney Channel throwback, this song. <laughs> this is just a vibe in here. <laughs> Wait, it's not working for me. That man was like playing the instrument. Oh, there we go. I think only this guy is working. Come on, let's go. We're going up. <laughs> Whoa, this is cool. We can like see over the whole land if we go over there. We have to go across underneath of the dino skeleton. Meg is going to go down the slide. It was like a shark turn there. I know, right? That was really fun. I feel like it's good again. We're gonna go to the uh, boat. We're gonna go to the boneyard. Okay, the boneyard. This is where I have my entertaining story. Okay. Yeah. Let's go on. Let's go on to the boneyard. You know, while you're being my cameraman, I could tell the entertaining story. Okay. So last time I was in this land was when I was in kindergarten, and my mom always tells this story about. I guess. They like divided and conquered. Like my mom brought me in here to this land and they had seen on like a Disney planning DVD about the boneyard, which is where you can go in like the sand pit and try to like uncover fossils and stuff. And they were like, oh, this is so cool. Like Meg would probably love this. So we were trying to find it. And it's kind of, if you don't know that it's here, I could see how people would miss it because we're gonna show you guys to get to it. You have to go through this entire play area across the bridge to find the like sand pit like archaeology area so my mom always says like she was in here with me trying to find this place and we were like back and forth through all we were up in all of these different spots could not find it and she says i guess and i'm sure she was you know getting stressed there's a ton of children in here running around screaming everything and her vivid memory she looks down when we were going over <laughs> the one bridge and sees my dad having a beer with a random man that he just met that day and they were just having a beer together and yeah she tells that story very often from time to time it's like that's an animal kingdom memory so that will always be a dino land usa 
memory that we have. But I haven't been back to said sand pit archaeology area since I was in kindergarten during yeah. that, that story. So Kim, we should go check it out. Let's do it. Yeah, I've never been. So here we go. Okay, we're going up. I think this would be how we get over there. We're going to hope. I have a feeling that's probably like the bench where my dad was having a, a beer. And yeah, this is where we have to go. We're gonna go across the archway, which is the entrance into the land. We actually get to walk over top of that. Like, how cool is this? This right here is the icon of the land. And we are seriously over top of, like we're on the bridge. This is the iconic Dinoland Bridge. Hello, everyone. Hello. That was hilarious. A father and daughter just went by and the dad goes, we found it. I'm sure that was the same expression my mom had because yeah, if you didn't know about this, it's kind of hard to come across. You have to go over the dino bridge and here's the sand pit. You get to dig in here and uncover bones. This is the archeology span area. This is where I actually think they could, if they make it Indiana Jones land, hear me out, they could keep this because archaeology, Indiana Jones, they could literally keep this kid's play area, just add in some Indiana Jones theming. There you go. Problem like, solved. Right this is kind of awkward. It's all kids, but I'm going to go ahead. You got it. Today you're a kid. It's all good. It's like normal sand. Look at this. It's like, um... Look. It's very coarse. It's like bird seed or something. What should, should I like make a sand castle? Do it, yeah. Make, you should do like a sand angel. I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. It's from Star Wars. Okay. Bring them down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get we'll get some good angles for the yes. for the viewers. Ready? Oh, whoa. That's how you gotta do it, guys. I haven't been to the beach in a while, but that's how you do it. Oh, it's not like sand at the beach. You no. can't make stuff with this. What kind of lame sand is this? I was even gonna like put a like topper for like the leaf. That's not even what we got. Wow. Come on, Disney. Get some beach sand, Disney. Yeah, we need, okay, they should actually put like beach sand. Yeah. Maybe this is like cleaner? I don't know. So I would imagine this gets very dirty. <laughs> That was actually funny. I've challenged Kyle with making something. It's you can't really build with this sand. You have to believe. Meg. You have to believe. Oh, there you go. You just make like a moat around. What is this? Is it like an empire? Like that's your kingdom, and this is like the moat around. Let's see. Is Meg gonna get it first, or are you the? <gasps> oh my gosh! Wait, I know what you're doing. Wait, I don't think the camera's picking it up. I gotta go this way. Can you see it? Oh wait, it's not coming up on camera. I gotta like get into a different angle. You gotta see the, the depth. Yeah, the depth of field. Yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's it's supposed to be a Mickey, like, like a hidden Mickey. I did. Here, here's the ears, here's the Mickey. You know what I mean? Kyle's having a wardrobe malfunction. Hey guys, you know the crazy thing is though, I was only in here for what, 30 seconds? And I already feel like there's a bunch of sand in my like shoes. Let's see how much got in there. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah, that was a lot. That was fun. We kind of unlocked like some childhood just nostalgia and fun playing in the sand pit. But honestly, like, I think this area could stay if we're going with Indiana Jones. We'll talk more later about they, well, you know, we're gonna talk right now. Let's talk right now about this. So Disney has released blue sky ideas for this land of Dinoland USA. They've confirmed that it's going away. They haven't given us a date when it's going away, but they have blue sky ideas. So what does that mean? It's like the projected plans. They don't have set in stone plans, but this is like what they're projecting, what they're thinking about doing with this area back in here. They've given ideas like Encanto. Um, they talked about Moana, but they have Moana now in Epcot, so I don't know if they're gonna do that. And then the long time thing that's been talked about, and Disney did mention this, which made me so happy, Indiana Jones. I'm a big indie fan. I love Indiana Jones. It's like my favorite George Lucas franchise. I actually even like it more than Star Wars. Like I love Indiana Jones. I always have. And yeah, he's an archeologist. I think if they would do Indiana Jones land back in here, it would just so easily like 
You got the archaeology kind of stuff you want to shoot. Um, I just also dumped a ton of sand out of my shoe. But yeah, they could make this in little Indiana Jones area. That would be really fun. Okay, we're exiting the kitty area. Now, should we do rides or do we go over to the carnival area? What should we do? Let's go to the carnival. Let's do the carnival. Let's see if we can win something. That would be epic. I would definitely, before this land goes extinct, I would love to try to collect all the prizes that they have. Okay, we're going in Dino Rama. This is the carnival game area. And this is where you can win those adorable prizes that are like iconic to the land. They have five of them, I believe. There may even be more. But yeah, you can get Mickey and Minnie in their Dino USA outfits. They have a bunch of the dinosaurs that are specific to the land. Somebody's missing one shoe. <laughs> There's a child missing one shoe. The amount of times I found shoes in Disney World is kind of, you would think it wouldn't be very often, but it's kind of a thing. Kids just chuck their shoes. I've won this before. <laughs> have you? Okay, should we try this one? That's on my DCP. Oh, you are good at basketball. So we just found out the information. It's $6 to get a game ticket. That's how you play any of the games. So $6 per person per game is what she said. And they have a place over there, game vouchers, that we can go get it. We could do whack-a-mole. So they have basketball over here. We were just looking at the basketball. They also have whack-a-mole here. That guy's cute that it says Dino USA. Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. I want them all. <laughs> I don't want to do this. You want to do whack-a-mole? They also have the shooting game over here. We're going to bring my mom back here. She is like a pro at the shooting game at carnivals. She, oh my gosh, that was always how she would win me and my cousins prizes at our local carnival year after year with this game. Okay, I got one ticket. I spent six bucks. If we win, we win. We're going to see what I'm going to play. I'm not sure. Maybe this over here, the Comet Crusher? This one's interesting. It's like a game of chance. So you have to try to get your ball in one of these ones that it doesn't fall down through. So in one of the colored circles. And that one over there, the Mammoth Marathons, like where you roll the balls up and try to get your guy across first. But that one's actually closed. They have the water game. I don't know. What do we play? I think you should do whack-a-mole or basketball. She's gonna play whack-a-mole and I believe in you, you're gonna win. Yeah. I kinda like that guy in the middle, he's like the diamond, he's the icon of the one more game there, okay? Take out some anger. Yeah, take out all your anger. So it's the first to get to 150 points. Yeah, first person to get to 150. Alright Meg, you got this, all out. That is. That's really adorable. I name him? He's adorable. Uh, I've, I've accomplished. I got Starosaur. What about Starosaur? Yeah. Because there's stars on him. I think you should play a game now. Okay, I'll play a game. Yeah. Okay, I won a prize. I'm so excited. He's so cute. This is in such a fun, like, nostalgic day. We just feel like big kids today. We ran around in a play area, and now we're winning fun little prizes. This is a great day. Now Kyle's gonna play a game. Okay, now Kyle's gonna go, and <laughs> there's now a big crowd. Going up against, like, six different you are, so I think you're competing for a big prize now. One of the bigger dinos. Oh, where's your... You got this, Kyle. <laughs> Let's go, are you ready? You got this? Two, three, and go. Woo -hoo! You got this! Go Kyle! You got it, you got it! You're doing it! You're doing it! Oh, you're ready! You did it! <laughs> Which one should I get? The one of the bigger ones, that guy, the dino land. One? That yeah, one? that one. <laughs> He's so cool! Thank you! Oh my gosh, and it says Dino-Rama. This is a cool prize. The coolest thing is, okay, so this guy that Kyle just won is that guy. He's like the dino from the land, Dino-Rama Dino. Chester and Hester. 
Is he Chester? Oh wait, I think he is. One of them is Chester, and then the other green guy that was up there is Hester. Well, this, this I don't dude, know which one is which, this but is definitely that dude. Look, he's that dude. He's yeah. Got, he's got all the dots on him. He's got the under. But is he right Chester there. or Hester? Oh, are they the same? <laughs> Here, flip him over because mine had this too. I just realized this on their feet. It says Animal Kingdom. How cool is that? These are gonna be vintage. We did it. Yeah, we like, came and conquered. And is, is no more. It's like we still I'm have sure this. Will go up to like a million dollars on eBay. It might. Almost it very well might. Mm -hmm. Chester and Hester's Dino Rama. This way. So this guy. This guy is one of the two, and then the guy I won is the other one. If somebody knows, if you could leave it in the comments, is the green guy Chester, and the blue one, the little triceratops, is he Hester? These are the questions I have. If anyone knows, let us know. We've left the Dino-Rama, the game area. We still have to ride both the rides in the land, and we're gonna get food at the restaurant to end our dino experience. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chip and Dale are in little dino outfits. That's the cutest thing. I had to point this out back here. So this is like the very far back end of the land. This is like, it goes to backstage. But look at this, welcome to Dig County where fossils are our way of life. And they have an archeologist guy right there. Now this is not new. This has been here since the land opened, this sign. But my dad has always said, doesn't that look like Indiana Jones? And is it almost like a um, foreshadowing of what's to come? Even though this is not a recent addition, but yeah, just kind of interesting, right? Mm hmm I hope so. I want to be Indiana Jones. Oh, they're coming back out. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Look, Chip is working it. <laughs> Hi, Chip and Dale. Hello. Hi, Chip and Dale. Oh, do you know about there used to be, this is the area they used to have the other attraction. Primeval World used to exist back here. That's been going now a few years. Okay, we are now gonna do the premier attraction here, Dinosaur. This is the ride. They have this dinosaur out front, which I was reading this earlier. Tyrannosaurus Rex Sue is this dino's name, if you didn't know. There's some information. There's Sue. And we're gonna go ride Dinosaur. Kyle, also I believe this is the Iguanodon right here. This is the, we were talking about this earlier, this is the guy that we're looking for. The Iguanodon. Okay, here we go, 30 minutes. It's time to head into the Dino Institute. Oh, look at this. So earlier today, this ride was even longer and they were utilizing that extended queue that was out there, but now we're only right inside here under the awning. So hopefully it won't be that long. So yeah, I guess that's how you would get to the extended queue. Look at how cool the Dino Institute logo. It's cool, isn't it? The other thing for all my friends fans, they were playing the song in the Dinorama area that it goes, I am a paleontologist. And that is the whole lyric of the song is, I am a paleontologist. And I think a Ross from Friends because he's a paleontologist. I actually kind of like when this has a bit of a line because you kind of want to take in the exhibits that they have in here. They have a proper museum like before you get to the ride itself. The walls here are actually like it shows you the layers of the earth, like the way things were fossilized. You can actually see like little shells. I don't know what's inside there. Oh wait, oh my gosh, wait, it just lit up, it's a thing. I never knew that. Ned Colbertia. I never knew that was a thing. Looks like a chicken foot. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. 
those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguana dog, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission. Here we go, welcome to the Dino Institute. Here's where I like to tell my fun fact. When the ride first opened, it was originally sponsored by McDonald's. Actually, briefly, there used to be a McDonald's here inside of Animal Kingdom. But the fun fact that you'll see, they have the pipes are white, red, and yellow. And it stands for um, ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Or mayo, what is the word? Mayo, ketchup, and mustard. But not only that, you see how they have like the scientific formula? on each one of the pipes. Those are the actual formulas for ketchup, mustard, mayo. Is that not the coolest thing? Okay, here's our time rover. We're gonna be in the very back row. Let's go get that dino. Okay. Our dino friends are in here, they're safe. <laughs> Let's go get that dino. Little Easter egg, WDI, Walt Disney Imagineering. Animal Kingdom, Again, AK 1998, yeah, 98. It's the year that this opened. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds. Iracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. <laughs> Maybe he's just carrying him. Computer, ah! full stop. <laughs> Identify. Carnivores. Definitely not our dino. Go, uh -oh. go, go. <laughs> and identify. <laughs> Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Oh, hi. <laughs> shop we were in earlier and look this is where I came over and I was like oh I hope we win one of the little guys and that is the guy we won him and then we also won one of the guys that's not in this display case but it's my goal oh my god it's my goal to win them all before the land goes away now we're heading to the next ride which is Triceratops spin and we're taking this little pathway that we walked earlier this is will lead you down to that gift shop the really creative one down here Okay, so we actually have a new plan. We are doing this challenge on President's Day, so full transparency, the crowds are crazy. And it is a 30 minute wait still for Triceratops Spin, something that is typically a walk on. Like that ride never has a wait. Like we said earlier, it actually was voted the worst rated ride in Disney World. So for the worst rated ride in Disney World to have a 30 minute wait, you know it's a busy day. We would have stuck around. We would have just done everything that we wanted to do here in the land. But today when we're filming, this is also the very final day of the 2024 Festival of the Arts over at Epcot. So we made the executive decision that we are going to actually come back to finish this challenge. So there's just gonna be a part two to the challenge. The challenge will be complete, but we're gonna do a part two day. Gives us an excuse to come back here to Animal Kingdom, but 
I'm gonna go ahead right now and film the Epcot video. I'm gonna actually have posted that first, so I'll go ahead and link that if you wanna go ahead and see what we got up to this evening at Epcot. But this was a really fun day. I loved like coming in with the mission of like, we're not gonna do anything else in Animal Kingdom. We're just dedicating to being right here in this land. And it was so fun because it got us going places we wouldn't typically like stroll into and just taking in the finer details. You know, we did this because this land is going to be extinct soon, but I would honestly love to like have days where I just pick a land like an area in a park and we just stay in that area we have to eat there we have to shop there we have to like just do all of the little things that they have to do this was a very good day but for now we're gonna sign off so thank you guys for watching and with that make today magical and we will see you in the next video bye bonus footage we're heading out and a cast member made some Disney magic with these flowers and made a dinosaur that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> I'm also making a dinosaur. You're also making a dinosaur? Yeah, that man thinks you're making a hidden Mickey. As good as that one, right? Oh wait, you actually are making the shape. Look at you go. Oh, yeah, I think right? I mean, that's pretty great. There, that's a dinosaur right there. I mean, that's like, beautiful. Uh, just as good as quality as that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>